Now that we have entered into the software our actual progress, we want to look at our earn value indicators in order to see how well we are doing. Before we do this, we always want to make sure that we have the correct status report date. If we click on the project tab, we can confirm that our status report date is indeed the 10th of January. I have found that even though you have entered in the status date and saved it, after closing the software and reopening it, the status report date will occasionally need to be re-entered. Since having an incorrect status date will give you incorrect earned value performance information, it is very important to double check it and make sure that it is entered correctly. After we are confident that the status report date is correct, we need to click on the View tab and then on the Table drop-down menu. Click on More Tables. And if we scroll up a little bit, we can see some earned value tables that are available to us. Select Earned Value and then Apply. Now we have in front of us the earned value information. Since our status report date is on the 10th of January, we only have activities that actually have been completed up to this point that have earned value information associated with them. If we change the status report date, let's say our date is changed to the 17th of January, we can see that the earned value indicators will reflect that change. If we look at this report by January 17th, we planned to spend roughly $14,000. So far, the earned value is almost $15,000. Earned value can also be interpreted as the planned value of the work we have actually completed. We can see here that the actual cost shows us we have actually spent a bit over $19,000. We have a positive schedule variance, which indicates that almost $900 worth of work has been completed up to this point that wasn't planned on com being completed at this time but we have a negative cost variance. This indicates that based on the work actually completed, we are over budget by approximately $4,200. The estimated cost at completion, this tells us, assuming that the CPI or cost efficiency stays relatively consistent throughout the rest of the project, the cost at completion will be around $54,000. Here our planned cost at completion is a little over $42,000 and the variance cost at completion is the difference between the two. A negative variance cost at completion indicates that the project will be completed over budget, in this case by almost $12,000.